Remember Fight Night Round 3? It was one of the early success stories for the Xbox 360, and a boxing game that just about anyone can pick up and enjoy. Uh, round 4 takes most of those core ideas and carries them forward, adding depth to the fighting that might not immediately seem apparent, but it actually makes a huge difference. That depth comes from having fighters with different heights and arm lengths. This sets up reach differences that make some fighters better from the outside, laying in shots from a distance that smaller fighters just can't compete with. But it is a trade-off because those smaller fighters get more explosive when they get inside, kind of like a Mike Tyson sort of thing. And that's why you've got Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson on the cover. They're two guys that sort of exemplify what the game is all about. The fighting itself offers the same sort of right stick punch control that was in the last game. You can swirl the stick for hooks and uppercuts, stick it out at different angles for jabs and straights, and use it along with a modifier button for blocking or throwing harder punches. You can also sway around to keep your head out of the way of incoming punches. Defense plays a much larger role in round four because successfully timing your blocks and sways sets up counter punches. Landing a punch after a perfect block or dodge causes more damage. It's a little gamey because it sort of kind of slows the action down and stuns you for a second while you tend to land those counter punches, but that's fine. <laughs> Fight Night Round 4 is a little light on the modes if you're planning on playing alone. Uh, you can set up basic exhibition fights or you can enter the legacy mode, which is where you set up a fighter and take him through a career. Along the way, you'll schedule out your next fight and engage in training to raise your stats between fights. Uh, I found the training minigames to be kind of lame, plus I wasn't very good at them. So I chose to auto-train, which lets you skip out of the minigames at the expense of some of your training's effectiveness. That trade-off never came back to bite me in the ass or anything like that, so it didn't really seem like a big deal. The legacy mode feels like it's needlessly bogged down by all sorts of menus and calendars and email inboxes. It has you simulating days on the calendar, even when nothing involving your fighter is going on. Uh, ostensibly, some of this is in place to simulate what the AI-controlled fighters are doing and update the rankings accordingly, uh, but all of it just gets in the way. I, I felt like in my 51-fight career, I spent less time in the ring and more time navigating menus or waiting for the stupid calendar to update. That's why you should really approach the game with an eye toward taking it online or going head-to-head -head against local opposition. Online, you can engage in the standard ranked or unranked matches, or you can dive into the World Championship mode, which is where your created fighters take on other created fighters, complete with leaderboards and an online champion in each weight class. The game keeps track of disconnect ratings and displays them when a user joins. So if you get matched with someone with an unreasonable disconnect rating, you can back out right there and prevent yourself from wasting your time in a rage quit situation. Speaking of creating boxers, Fight Night Round 4 has one of the best head generators around. It's got all the standard sliders, but you can also import front and side view photos of your head, and you can import them into the game. You can do this with your PlayStation 3 or your Xbox 360 camera, but you're better off just taking a real camera, taking the shots yourselves, and then uploading those to EA's site where you can import them from there. It's not perfect. Uh, my first attempt looked like some kind of freaky alien version of me, but the second attempt came out looking all right. As long as you're not going into Fight Night Round 4 hoping for a super deep single player experience, you'll probably be totally satisfied by what the game has to offer. The World Championship mode has a lot of online potential, and using your created fighters to beat the crap out of other created fighters is simply awesome. Ding, ding.